This morning we'll be looking at a property called High Constantia, which is sits on two acres of land. It feels very much like a, a Mediterranean house sitting as if in a compound. Views are stunning, which you'll see. The main house, the bedroom areas need updating. They don't need work, but they do need updating. I think most people that would look at it would think yes. Update this, update that. In fact, the cottage is fully renovated by Ian Morrison, an architect that used to work very closely with me when I was developing on the island. I would say a double garage, but I think more like a triple garage. And the house has this wonderful old school Bajan feel of embracing nature, having everything open, not worrying about space. I'm trying to avoid the dog here. Sheba, say hello to everyone back home. Sheba, absolutely nothing. Terrific. I actually got more reaction from her than I did my own dog at home. So this is one bedroom, ensuite facilities. Terracotta floors probably need polishing up. Still lovely tray ceilings, air conditioning and fans in all the bedrooms. I'm going to try and avoid myself in the mirror. Handsome devil that I am. You can see here it's... Oh, there I am. Incredible. Just can't get away from it. Passing through. And we're going to go to the other side of this courtyard. I was about to say internal courtyard, but... Logically, all courtyards are internal. Time for me to shut up, I think. Right, one walks in here, bathroom. Okay, updating. Probably be required. Two bedrooms on this side. This currently is a office, filing room, dog bed. Again, tray ceilings, fan, air conditioning. I always used to look down very much in videos. I got told off for it, but now I look up. Second bedroom on this side. Colour of the video has gone a bit strange. The walls are not that huey yellow. I just don't think the camera can deal with the different light phases. I'm sure it'll sort itself out in a minute. Lovely woody feel in here. It feels very cottagey. It's really very, very, very cottage feel. Air conditioning again, fans again. My arm's getting tired today. Wish I could say that was some exercise. It is not. And then you get into the grand room, the main living area, which is really lovely. Again, tray ceilings, three fans. This is things like the fans. I think if anyone bought the property, they'd say, right, we'll change those fans straight away. It, things like that that aren't really a big deal. Um, wonderful marble floor don't get that very often it's wonderful pink marble amazing rocking horse coming through there and then we come through here and you'll see from here sitting in outside we have basically another living area Bar to the left, seating area. I think the housekeeper wants to be in. Give us a wave. You might as well. We've got you in video now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> seating for six. And it takes up no room on the patio. Really wonderful size patio. Stunning views. We'll have a bit of music in the background in a minute as we go into the kitchen. Kitchen's really nice done. Kitchen and TV nook or family room, maybe it would have been. Kids' room, maybe. Wonderful granite top finishes. Superb double door fridge. It's got a real cottage, modern cottage feel, which is kind of an Ian Morrison thing anyway. Again, tray ceilings, four fans in here. Not sure why we'd want four. My phone is now ringing. Funny, just someone I was thinking about not half an hour ago. 
coming through here, bit of storage through here. Don't know why I show things like that, but it's a video, so I suppose you should show it all. Glass doors, of course, sliding glass doors that will lead out to the laundry, and uh, that's the laundry and, and, and maids, uh, not quarters, but um, shower area and the such like. Changing room, I should say. And then from here, we will go down. Let's have another look at that. It really is an old school Bajan house that you, you just, it just embraces, completely embraces nature. It's wonderful, all open and you'd never, you never feel claustrophobic here, that's for sure. Anyway, as we go down, we go down towards the pool. Of course, just as I go down to the pool, the sun goes in. Of course. Little walkway here, let me show it to you. Very cute. Come on, sun. There we go. That's better. Incredible how a bit of sunlight makes such a difference. Wonderful trees. You probably can't even hear me over the wind. Of course, Barbados is built. Built. Consists of various ridges. And here you're on the second ridge. Um, pool. Sort of three, four foot shallow end. Dropping down to what looks like about eight foot. Wonderful gazebo. With a built in. Wet bar, fridge, grill on this side, very nice. This chap here who's painted this, famous on the island, there's another house that I have listed for sale that they've put the family faces on the monkey bodies. Not sure if that's trying to be cute or rude. So, round the pool and then we look up to this. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It's wonderful balance between shade from the Casarina trees. It's early morning here, so it's a different aspect, but I, I came here on purpose knowing that the view would be a bit special. I'll try and zoom in on it a bit. You're overlooking Port St. Charles pretty much. Port St. Charles and what will soon be a sandals resort. But that is a view that will never be obstructed. The fence line it's just where one can see the bougainvillea there, the purple bougainvillea. But one does actually own further down the ridge. That's just away here. Absolutely lovely. Now the wind's blowing up. It's glorious. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love space, there's nothing, you get so many houses nowadays that are very, very beautiful and are worth every penny they're sold for, but they are a little bit tight on the plot, whereas when you get big two acre plots such as this, a completely different feel. So we're walking back as if we're walking out of the main gate, which is up this driveway. We've left the house over here, which you can hardly see because it's just so well landscaped. The gazebo and the pool. And then we're into the guest cottage. Which again, Ian Morrison designed, which gives us the archways and the thick wood. Skylights. Not there. Probably a pain in the neck to clean, I would think, but absolutely lovely. Before the days of bifold doors, large wood panelled pickle wood as well, which is terrific, just like the ceilings, all pickled. Again, the room is not yellow. <laughs> and then you come out here into this cosy, and it is cosy because it's a low ceiling. And the reason for this low hanging bit of wood is because the sun comes down and around three, four o'clock it gets just a little bit too much. That's all West Coast properties do. But there we are. Wonderful. Pool to the right over there. Oh, look at that. Well, they've done that especially for us. How kind of them. See if I can zoom in on that. If I can stop shaking, that is. Isn't that polite of them? 
wonderful sailing boat right on cue well done captain anyway spanning around you see the fence line patio area move off slightly so you can see better oh, seating for four and then these lovely wood doors that clip straight in so that the house doesn't actually seal off as such because you can see there's gaps above but it's all part of having airflow through a house the old way of keeping a house cool thicker walls white walls security bars built in which it's just amazing it means you just don't need windows you know uh, this whole thing now of windows and air conditioning yeah it has its place there's no question but you know look at this as an example i hope that's focused yes it has you know it doesn't make one feel claustrophobic especially with the wonderful wood archwayed shutters because that's what they've become it's lovely beautiful Thick coral rendering, giving it an old world feel, contrasting wonderfully with the Spanish plastering, I believe is what they still call it. Again, air conditioning, pickled ceilings, fan, more skylights in this part of the house. Back in the day, it's a design, it's a design, oh sorry, let me just finish here. Full length glass door, you can step straight out into the bougainvillea plant according to these stepping stones so if you can I guess if you can deal with that you can deal with anything and then you have the pool just to your right so guests or family oh, more sailing boats come at just the right time wonderful so this is one of the bedrooms bathroom across the corridor Okay. not as yellow as it looks on video bamboo floor through the living area and the second bedroom which I think would be the master because it's en suite lovely again it's fabulous windows everything's arched thickness of the walls are just fantastic I mean, I'm here, it's 10 o'clock, I think it is now, and it's, there's no need for a fan or air conditioning, that's for sure. Then, bathrooms are okay. They're not amazing, but they're, they're, they're okay. This shower is amazing. It's, it's almost as if it's an external shower. In fact, Ian Morrison's early designs never had any roof. They just had the built-in security bars similar to that. And uh, effectively, one would be showering under the under the stars. I'm not sure why that was stopped. I think people probably get nervous. I know I'm certainly going to do that in my house. Definitely want an external shower that's internal at all in terms of purposes. Walking into this bathroom here, slightly different, regular kind of thing. Wonderful hinges on the back of the door. So. House has got a fantastic flow, a really good feel to it. Uh, Ian Morrison is a superb architect, and he, he loves the Caribbean. And you can tell the difference when you get English architects that design for the Caribbean. Most of them still don't quite get it. Not in the way someone who's lived out here understands the flow of the wind the need for landscaping, the need for shade, the need for security without feeling closed in. I'm gonna just finish one more time looking in the back of this house. Video does not look as good as in the flesh, I must say. But turn slowly, look at this wonderful pool the view, the sailing boat in the background, available at www.barbados-realestate.com, which is Sandcastle Caribbean, at 1.75 million US. 
two acres of land and I don't really want to go back to my own home.